Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Kay and Kim Chu, and today I'm going to a football game in Alabama. So I would just like to show you guys my outfit of the day. And I'll probably have some clips from the game. So stay Hold tuned. Hold up. Oh. Okay, you guys, this is my outfit of the day. And I have on a Billie Eilish shirt because I am a fan. And I got this out of the kids section at Target for, I think, $10. And then I got these pants, faux leather pants, sweats from Target. I did get a size too big because I wanted to look, uh, you know, baggy. Like actual sweatpants. And I got this last season from Coach. It is a belt bag. And I got these last year. These Coach boots last year. For Mother's Day. I think they're. I know they don't no longer sell this. I'm pretty sure this is not in season. And I think this was 200 And those were 200 But you can probably find them somewhere. I don't know. Because. I bought them last season, but catch the wave. Oh, I love this outfit. I love it. I'm going to wear it with a jeans jacket because I have a jacket this color, but since I'm clearing out my closet, I believe I gave it away, but that would have been so like lit lit. But this is what my style is. I'm probably going to take a couple of pictures. And today I got my hair in a ponytail, believe it or not, because... I got an appointment for next week for Jessica, and she wasn't playing this week. So, oh, okay. So, I have an appointment next week. And this is the last resort when you see my hair in a ponytail because ponytails usually give you um, a lot of tension on your hair, unbeknown, whether, regardless of what you do it with. So, it's better to just let your hair hang and flow. But, yeah, y'all, catch this. I will be wearing a jeans jacket with this, and hopefully I'll take some pictures. But I like this. This is my style right here. This is, like, this is, like, so, I don't know, so cute. This is me. Especially with the Bailey Island shirt, because that's my girl. But, anyway, I'll see y'all at the game. And this is a semi-Nigerian event. Since the person that I'm going to see play parents are Nigerian. So that's why I was invited. So. Okay. Really, I just said. Pass and pitching four of the Tigers number six. Karan Jones. Hey you guys, I stumbled across this new store. It has been here for three months and I was in the plaza and I was looking for something else and I just walked in and it was amazing to me. They had a lot of items that I normally get from the other store and this store is actually in Smyrna. So I was very surprised at the all the items that they had they offered a different thing called water fufu, and it is real fufu. It is real cassava. And the thing it is, all you do is cook it and add water. And I will be trying that out for you guys so you guys can know. Also, they had huge amount of palm oil in the big, big, like three or four gallons. And you will see that coming up. They offered other things that I had not seen um, at other stores and I was just in awe of this store 
For the store not to be in operation but three months, they do see a lot of foot traffic from what the sales associate was telling me. So this is just another store for you guys to see. And when I talked to the sales associate, she did say they're getting more and more stuff and items in weekly, if not daily. So if you don't see what you want now, maybe in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, they will have it located in the store. I'm finding that all these stores that I go into always say that they have different things or they offer different things and which in fact they do, but they still offer what you would normally pick up in an African store. So I like that. I like that they have offerings of different, even different name brands because certain name brands I found at this store, I did not find at the other stores or the other locations. So keep that in mind that if you are definitely want to cook genuine African food that you can go to multiple stores to find what you need. And that might be a little tedious, but it's the same thing as if you was going to an African market. You would have the opportunity to go to different locations in the market to find what you want. So always keep that in mind. If you're looking for something in particular, a lot of the stores carry different items. So you can just give them a look. And I was supposed to do a blog, but I don't know how much footage I got because literally I've been just really not doing much or and not recording much because I've been kind of sick, you guys. Um, I did, you see this on my head, I don't know what to do with my hair because I couldn't get an appointment for Jessica this week. And that does happen from time to time when she is really busy. So hopefully I'll be able to get an appointment next week. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get an appointment next week because that's what she said. So I have to wear this because I am breaking out on my scalp and it's moving down. So I would have to get a really good wash and treatment on my scalp. But I'm headed to Cumberland Mall because this W... I saw some shoes in there the other day and I wanted to, well, I saw some shoes online the other day and I wanted to make sure they have it so you guys can tag along. Um, I have other footage that I will be showing. I'm not sure because I lost some of it when I went out with my friend. Um, you're, you guys know her as Blessed Hands. And I'm almost at 100 subscribers so I will be doing a giveaway and all of my friends I mean, it's so, you know, doing YouTube, I'm so blessed. And I'm like, literally, my friends have been saying, just, you know, I would do this for you. And I would do that for you. And I only, I haven't even gotten to 100 subscribers yet, but I literally have over $200 in just people telling me, I'm going to do this for your channel. I'm going to do this for your channel. And so I can have multiple, um, multiple winners. So I'm really happy about that. And I just feel like I'm blessed, although I've been down. I've been like, I'm trying to start a podcast. I, well, not trying. I have everything set up. I'm trying to record everybody. And it's been difficult getting people that I've scheduled time with to actually, you know, have the time to talk to me and I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the camera I'm literally driving and going to Cumberland Mall so it's kind of been hard for me to get everybody's schedule and I've had to cancel and they've had to cancel so it's been like uh so I have to push the podcast back because I don't want to I want pre-recorded episodes and I don't want to that to interrupt what I have going on YouTube. So it's kind of been like, I haven't been, not to say I haven't been in the mood to film. I just haven't had time. I was supposed to do another video with my, I'm sorry for the blinker. I was supposed to do another video with my son where he rates my Nigerian outfits. 
and my son has been like working so I can't do that so it's kind of like eh, I don't know it's kind of like I've been trying to get everything done and it's like whenever you do it with outside people it always like mess up so I this week is probably gonna be a short video I'm only going to the mall uh, the two or three videos I previously shot to add to this week vlog I don't know where they at some of it I have some of it I don't have so I'm just like mmm yeah but I I take it because I've talked to another youtuber I'm not gonna tell you who she is because she doesn't want me to tell anybody I know her <laughs> and, and it's a reason for that she it has a lot a lot of subscribers but you know we're in different niche so she gives me advice she was telling me that you know you have your good times with youtube you have the bad times with youtube and i kind of feel like i'm not really having a bad time i'm just having like that time where you like do i really 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 putting my all in this if i should say I love YouTube, I love the community, I love that I'm gaining subscribers, and I love that I'm enjoying myself because that's the one thing that I wanted to do. But I feel like I'm not doing enough for my YouTube channel, and that's where I'm at, trying to work everything in, being a wife, being a YouTuber, being an employee because I still have a job and though I, I'm not going to say YouTube is my only, well YouTube is not a source of income, though my job is not my only source of income I still want to be able to I guess I still want to be able to do everything that I had planned to do like the starting my business which I'm still working on that and I'm almost finished everything except the website and I have somebody helping me with that but it's like I'm in a rush to get there and I have not been able to even get close to where I want to go and it's mainly because I don't have the time I really don't have the time I I have I also help friends out and that's a, another thing that people don't understand about me um, I'm helping somebody fix their YouTube channel or start their YouTube channel I'm giving you know I'm coaching other people into they ask me certain things that I'm doing and I'm doing and, I, and I'm giving them tips and showing them sites and all this and pretty much working with a lot of people not because I'm experienced or anything because the drawback that I've had I know they're going to have so I'm you know trying to cut down their time and the things that they're doing so they can have a, a better experience than I had when I first started so I'm also doing that but it's a lot of work and I still got to be the wife and I think the hardest thing about this is my husband has no breaks of being a husband so I can't have any breaks have been a wife and although I have tried to multitask I think I'm gonna just go ahead and bite the bullet and ask my friend and pay her to be my assistant because she does a lot of work in every capacity from social media and I'm gonna just have to get some help from her because I really like when I tell you I really am struggling and I'm just at the beginning <laughs> so I, I I don't know how youtubers do the work the home life the wife life the youtubing and still get everything done in a week so but I I really want to do this this is something that I feel like I've always wanted to do so. If it's a part of your dream, then you should at least find time and make time. 
You may not have to wake up an extra hour early to shoot a video or if I have to basically uh, take a couple of days off of work, I really want to do this. So that's just my spill. So I know some of you guys like the mukbang. I, I shout out to my friend Jasmine out of the <laughs> out of the trunk of my closet. I really do love my friends, and they're like Jasmine is very inspirational to me. She's like, "Okay, you gotta find time," and she's been working with me and helping me, and I just love her personality. So when I say she's my friend, I really mean that, and I wouldn't bring anybody on my channel that I didn't think would click with me like anybody that i don't like because i've had people tell me oh i want to do a video with you or i want to do a mukbang with you or do this do this and i literally said okay let me see about that and i know they would bring the audience because of their personality but i if i don't vibe with you vibe with you then yeah it's not gonna go so I'm, I know I'm tired of talking, so let's go in here and look for these shoes that I saw online and see if I can get them. And I'm on a no shopping for the next couple of months because I'm trying to get some big ticket items. So yeah, but I need these shoes. So let me see if they got them. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I didn't find the shoes that I was looking for, but I did find some shoes because they look comfortable. And since I'm up on my feet at work all day, I thought about getting these. These might not be everybody cup of tea, but when I tried them on, they were very comfortable. And I thought that was kind of cute with the fur. So this is all, oh, and they gave me Right now with DSW, if you make a purchase, they give you a free mask. So I thought that was kind of cool. But yeah, this is uh, this is not everybody cup of tea, but it looks and feels comfortable. Ugh. And that's why I got it. So that was pretty much it. Hi, you guys. I was going to end the video, but I got invited at the last minute to a kid's party. So that's where I'm going to go. But before I go, I want to show you guys my look. I got my hair in a ponytail because I still have not gone to Jessica's. And wearing my coat sandals. And I got these pants about a year ago from Loft. And I cut them because it's hot in Atlanta now or it's getting hot. So this is what I'm wearing. I'll try to take pics. If I forget, I'm sorry. But yeah. We are going to dance around the chair. If they exit you, you pay a $50 to the celebrant's phone. So there are five of us here. The minute they exit you, you pay a $50. Oh, no, no. no, no. Let's, 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 let's make it fun so that nobody's going to be under pressure. If they exit you, you pay $10 to the celebrant's phone. Deal? Deal. And then I don't want that ten dollars because this woman wants to ten dollars. I said five hundred. She wants them to exit her early. She will pay. She will pay. She will pay dollars. Okay. If they exit you, you pay a ten dollar to the celebrant's mom. Agree? And then twenty dollars round figure exactly. Okay, so what about the last two months standing? Calm down now. Calm down now. I, I, Calm down. When you do exam, you wait for you wait for answer now. Calm down. All right. Wait. All right. 
this is the this is general agreement among the contestants. If they exit you, you pay twenty dollars to the celebrant's mom. She's right here. We have five people here, so it means only one person will win. So at the end of this activity, the celebrant's mom will have eighty dollars, right? Now, whoever wins, the celebrant will bless that person with twenty dollars. Am I good or not? Am I good or not? So let's put our heads together once more for the celebrants of tonight's event. Um, if you know you don't want to get involved, just pay the $20 and leave now so that I can get somebody else. No way. DJ, are we ready? I'm going to put myself somewhere where the DJ can see me. DJ, can you see me here? Eyes open. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one, music. Hey. Okay, you guys, I am sitting on the couch editing this and it is Saturday and I didn't end it. So I'm going to end it now. Thanks, you guys, for all the support. I appreciate that. And like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.